I want to make sure I, I'm saying it right. Okay. Where am I? Where am I? Where? 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 where, where, where? <laughs> I'm walking up here. It's called the what? A growlery, and that was um, his private space where he was sort of retreat from friends and family and people who were sort of competing for his attention. So uh, there's actually a small little placard that explains what the function of the growlery was. If you'd like to catch that. On the okay. Website. It's called a growlery. 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 Yeah, there's more information okay. right here. Okay. And he actually uh -huh. came, left his house, walked over here. This was his private area, so nobody was permitted in there without his permission. Are you kidding? Mm -hmm. Kind of like a basement. And there's, no, and there's no windows in this place. No. That's, that's where he, and he sat in there and, and conducted, I mean, just, just by himself. Mm -hmm. That's his think time. Mm -hmm. Oh, my Lord. Thanks a lot. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I think we can all use a gallery. I know I certainly All right. Thank you. All right. All right, now. Okay, she's from the Park Service. Now, I thought this was a smokehouse, believe it or not, because I'm from the country. I'm from the country. And I thought it was a smokehouse. And the reason I thought it was a smokehouse was because it has a chimney on it. But it's called, now I'm going to show it to you, a growlery, G-R-O-W-L-E-R-Y. Okay, it says, okay, here stood Frederick Douglass' rustic retreat from domestic society, society where he could think, read, and write and un, write undisturbed. Evoking the image of a lion's lair, he called his hideaway the, growler, the growlery, okay. It was simply <laughs> furnished with a lounge, a high desk, and a stool. The present building is reconstructed. Okay, the growlery. Okay, wow. Look at this place. Look at this place. It has no windows. Now, how did you see in there, Frederick? It has a chimney. It has a chimney, so I guess you light a candle, light a fire, go in there and sweat and read and write and think wow this is the growlery if those bricks could talk wow now this is the back of Frederick Douglass home this guy I must say he was living large he was an ex-slave but he was a slave man so during the civil war oh my lord frederick was living well If you come to Washington, D.C., now I have not seen a tour mobile or any type of transportation that conducts tours. Now, I'm not saying they don't come over here, but I haven't seen any. Hmm, I wonder why. I'm going to pan down and show you the grounds because this house sits right on top of a hill. It's right at, it's the only property on this hill. But if you pan down, that, is, that looks like a, 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 a miniature little golf course. This gentleman lived well. He lived quite well. <laughs> To be an ex-slave, <laughs> brother man was had it going on.
on that note, this is RadioDiary.com.